Get him. Get him, Case. Hooked up, Larry. Got him? Oh, yeah. Feels like a nice one. Need a net? Ooh, it is a nice one. I'll just boat flip him, Larry. How's it look? Really, uh... Fishy? Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice one, too. Oh, beauty. Whoop. There we go. There we go, friend. Hey, folks, the guy's still hot. I'm with a buddy of mine, Casey Knopp. We're up fishing on the Chippewa Flowage today, and we're coming off a weekend where this guy right here is the BASS state champion, right? Yeah, just got it done. Uh, he... Saturday, a day ago. Congratulations. Thank it's you, it's due to these. So yeah, this past weekend, about 90 boats, this guy came out on top. So we're gonna pick his brain. We're gonna talk a little bit about how to bass fish, the great Chippewa flowage, not only known for muskie and everything else, other species, but great for bass fishing too. There we go. Keep at her. Ooh, nice one. Oh, get him. Ooh, that was a really cool. You can see the big dark weed patch right there. Is that what you threw to? Yeah. Ooh, nice one too. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. That's why you're the man, Case. Right across the weeds and the water's kind of dingy over here, but they're still finding the bait, no problem. So it's not a bad fish, Larry. Let this guy go. Thanks for playing, buddy. Get out of the weeds. You got him, Case? Still got him, Larry. Nice. So is this how you won the tournament? Ah, uh, this is a big part of it. A little guy, but still a fun bite. It's a fun bite when you're throwing a swim jig and fishing these shallow, shallow weeds. So I just keep my rod tip up and I keep reeling. I just keep popping it. That way, if it do does have any weeds on it, kind of pop them off. A lot of times when you're popping them off the weeds, that's when you get a bite. Little guy, but hey, we're doing something right, so. So if guys want to start fishing tournaments, is that, do you think that's the best angle for them to get to is join a bass club and? That is probably one of the better ways to do it because you can join a bass club. You could start fishing small tournaments within your club. It's not going to cost you a lot of money. And a lot of times those clubs, they're going to help you grow as an angler, which is you know what you need to continue doing if you want to do well in tournament fishing. So I'd say joining a bass club or your local bass club is a great way to get introduced to tournament fishing. Hooked up, Larry? Yep. Ooh, there you go, looks like a nice one. Way back in there. Get him, Larry. I'm trying, buddy. I'm bringing in the lake with him, too. These fish are not in a lot of water at all. <laughs> oh, that's a chunk. Ooh, Larry. That's a beautiful one. <laughs> I'm glad I had the weeds with him. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, Larry, look at that one. Those are the kind you want right there. Let's put a weight on him. That is a nice one. About 210. Nice, you're close. 210, yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Old Lake Chippewa small, or largemouth, I should say. So, Casey, there's an east side and a west side to the Chippewa flowage, correct? Oh, worked up. You got one too? Yep. Consecutive casts? Nice. Little guy later, yours was uh, a little bigger, but still a fun bite. I'll keep casting because Larry's catching the big ones, so. With the Chippewa flowage kind of divided in half between the east and west side, it's like fishing two different bodies of water. So today we're fishing primarily the east side. On the east side, everything is much more tannic and there's a lot more rocks. The west side, you got a lot more deep, clean water, uh, better weed growth. Still set up the same where there's islands everywhere, but we're fishing shallow, you know, shallow humps right now or shallow flats, I should say, that it's clean water-ish and lots of tall weeds today. So you could find that on both sides of the flowage. There he is. Did you get him? Yes, sir. Oh. Came after it once, Larry, and I got it back over there, and sure enough. Hey, friend. Cool little bite. Nice little largemouth. Let him go, and we'll see if we can find some bigger ones. The Chippewa flowage, I know, is pretty known for its musky, great walleye fish, and it's even got some good pan fishing. How would you rate the bass fishery? There's just so many good weeds, and there's bait everywhere, and the pan fish are good. Um, I think the, like, it's just a really, really good fishery overall. I mean, the bass fishing is largemouth or smallmouth is really good as well. Some of the issue is with the bass fishing, I think it kind of gets a bad rap, is just because there's so much water and there's so much structure. So it is hard to find fish, but once you find the areas and like what to look for, you can do really, really well, which makes it really rewarding when you find them. 
But that's also what makes the Chippewa Flowage so special. I mean, 15,000 acres of just every kind of a structure and species you can imagine. It's got one of the, it's probably one of the most beautiful lakes that I've been on. That is a good one. Oh, a tanker. I didn't see him, but it felt like a really good it one. It looked good. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Not a bad one. Jesus, these smallmouth Larry, I tell ya. <laughs> Probably my favorite. Oh, not a bad one. Tell you what, that thing almost ripped the rod out of my hands. Hey, Case, nice fish. Folks, that's why this guy is the man. First place. First place finisher in the BASS Championship on the Chippewa Flowage. If you want more information, check out the website below on the Lake Chippewa Flowage Resort Association. I want to thank Casey Knopf for joining me. We're going to head in because there's some rain coming right over my right shoulder. More Midwest Outdoors is right back. I'm Larry Ladowski. We'll catch you later.